That is. That is. All right. Now, more questions from the internet. Uh, let's see here. First up, what did everyone have 25 years ago, 1999? My childhood. Uh, that nobody has now. Uh, happiness. All right. Thank you guys for coming to the TED Talk. Right. <laughs> See you guys later. A family. <laughs> they had uh, not crippling debt. <laughs> Jesus. For real. Um, actually, this is very good. Uh, I was eight years old. Damn. Just kidding. <laughs> in 1999. So let's I see. I was seven? Six. You were born in 93, right? Yeah, so six. Six, yeah. Uh, wow. You want to know what's crazy? I apparently commented on this a while ago. 13 weeks ago. 13 weeks ago. A house phone. A house phone. Facts. A will to live is wild. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said flip phone. Let's be real. Flip phones did not start to occur until 2001. Okay? 1999. Sorry, 1999, yes. I think, is a little too early. Someone put 24-7 Walmart. I saw that. And an actual dollar menu. 24-7 Walmart died when COVID happened. And that was a very sad thing. That's true. Like around COVID, I don't think exactly when, but Some, I, Sometimes you'd be headed home from work super late or like from a, like a party. And like you have work the next day and you need something. The 3 a.m. Walmart trip was clutch. Or you'd be like, you know, just a bunch of just bored kids and just play hide and seek. In the Walmart. Bro, I forgot we used to do that. It was crazy. We used to, yeah, we used to get up to no good. We used to get up to no good. A Walkman. I, I think I had a CD player by 1999, but that's fine. I, I, I didn't have like, a, like anything musically, like in regards of uh, like to listen to. Yeah, personally. Until like 2005, 2004. Dang. And it was an MP3 player. Gotcha. The CD players, it would be like my dad's. You know, I'd use it, but like I didn't. I, I didn't was it yours? It wasn't mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A a house, uh, stereo system for CDs. Oh or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Had those in my house. If if you had, if you had parents like mine that uh, are older, uh, a actual like vinyl record player. Uh, let's see, decent house prices. Yeah, yeah. We're talking about economics now. Uh. Oh, that one was dark. I can't say it. I think it's the one that you saw. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The, uh, <laughs> this right here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I'll say it. I don't care. No. no, no, it's not like I don't care. But I mean, like. Don't say it. 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 I'm clipping the whole thing. Don't say it. The Twin Towers. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so that's, dark. And it was Twin do you know the, the? I'm pretty sure I've told you. I've, I, I tell like a lot of people this. The Twin Towers, my my parents were there two day, uh, like two days or a day prior. I have to ask my mom this, but before like the before it happens, they were gonna stay a couple days longer. And I remember it because when they came back, when they came back to uh, California, like at the airport, it was like the day before. Oh my god! And. I, it's somewhere in the photo album, but there's a picture of my, my parents like standing like in front of the I think like where um uh the Statue of Liberty is and then Twin Towers is right behind. behind it. Yeah. And I'll I'll never forget when oh my, my I had the phone call with my mom like the day of when they like decided like, Oh, we're gonna like they just want to talk, like, Oh, we're gonna be home soon, yep. we're gonna stay longer but you know, I think it was like the weekend and you guys are gonna go back to school. I forgot what it was, but they just had to go back like soon and I'll never forget that. I have to ask my mom what 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 uh what that timeline was but yeah if they stayed longer god knows where they would have been yeah like, if they were like in the vicinity that or it's crazy but i'll never forget that and i'll never forget watching it with the like my like our church fam that was watching us i'll yeah. never forget watching on the news oh man that's and, wild and then being like in this like trying to put the two and two together like where's my mom at yeah you know and i remember them saying that they're gonna be home but i just like as a kid like 2001 what was i like eight or nine at that time. I just didn't know how long yeah. airplanes take, you know, to get to, from New York to here. Yeah. Like they're, so. they're in limbo right now. Yeah. yeah, pretty much. I get that. But yeah, that's crazy. Well, now you gotta, you can't clip that out. Now you gotta keep that. No, now we gotta keep it in. 
Damn it. Damn it, Rotten. Uh, this one says vitamin D. Facts. I don't see kids playing it outside no more. Man, when you saw a house and there was a whole bunch of bikes piled up, mm. bike scooters mm-hmm. piled up in the front yard, that's how you know the house was, was, was yeah. lit. Oh, bro. Uh, another thing. Another thing. Maybe this could just be for my neighborhood. Unlocked front doors during the day. You know, you mentioned that. And I think maybe me and maybe a couple of people in my neighborhood at that time, we, we there was a couple of locked doors. <laughs> there were a couple of Oh, no, no, no. I mean, unlocked doors for, because everyone on my street at the time, mm. uh, we were all relatively friendly with each other. Especially since we had family friends okay, well. like on the same street. So during the day, we would expect each other to visit each other. So they'd come over, someone else come over. I mean, obviously, we'd still, like, all of us still had manners. And we would ring the doorbell, knock on the door before just entering a house. Boy. But it was definitely, at the time, a safer environment. <laughs> Oh, yeah. yeah. The world nowadays, I can't walk outside my front door without wondering, hmm, is there a crazy man walking up and down the street? <laughs> <laughs> walking up and down the street. <laughs> Anyways, we digress. Yeah, we digress. <laughs> um, 1999, uh, around that time, was a simpler time for a lot of people. Definitely simpler times. A lot of people are, are saying a whole bunch of like, oh, happiness, good music, valuables. Driving or skills. Valuables, driving val- skills is valuables. wild. Driving <laughs> skills. They still didn't have that. They don't have that now. They didn't have it then. They didn't. Less social anxiety. Yeah, a lot. Lots. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I, social anxiety, I think, is definitely one, especially because there wasn't social media at the time. Yeah. So, like, I, news came from the TV or. The newspaper. You mentioned like going to people's houses and the doors unlocked is because you trust your neighborhood. If you go now, like this neighborhood right now, and how would you feel if you just rang on a doorbell? If I rang on a doorbell? Yeah. If I rang on one of the my neighbor's yeah, doorbells? Yeah, just ask like a question about like, oh, did you get my mail or a package? How would you? Oh, you know, that actually happened the other, like, not the other day, but like a few months ago. Uh-huh. And I'm not going to lie, gave me a little bit of anxiety. Like, I went there, like, hey, did my package get yeah, delivered yeah. over here? The lady was actually very nice. She was like, oh, oh, yeah, it was. Uh, I think it actually happened vice versa. We received theirs, and they received ours. Oh. So I was like, hey, we received a package here. So you had a dyslexic uh, yeah, uh, Amazon delivery driver. driver. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this one looks like a nine. Let me put, drop it down at <laughs> two nine. <laughs> yeah, right? So, so it happened to the both of us. So I'm like, oh, yeah. Oh, is this yours? Oh, actually, yeah. I was going to ask you about that. It was actually very, very easy. But the idea of like, man, I don't want to go talk to talk to the neighbor, find out, find my package. I was more irritated. Like this dumb delivery driver. Why didn't you put it? At the, hey, you have one job to read the address and match it up accordingly. Obviously, that's just thoughts of someone whose package was was misplaced right but for me like i don't give i don't really give benefit of the doubt anymore yeah. like if you do something or say something it's just like you should have known better yeah you should have known better but yeah that's actually crazy okay. uh nokia, <laughs> nokia. When, when did you have your first phone my first cell phone was 2005 or 2006 and okay. i remember and i was such a dumb kid because um keep on talking i'm gonna fix the blinds behind me because it keeps doing this but keep on talking yeah do you um my first phone was 2005 2006 i forget what phone it was it was a flip phone it had a camera when we got the phone it had a data gap like there wasn't there wasn't unlimited uh minutes not unlimited texts there wasn't any of that i didn't know that Mm -hmm. when i got the phone or at least I don't remember it because we had that phone for like a month. And back then, apparently, each text was like 10 cents. 
Jesus. I, I remember the call hours. It was the it was Verizon, and it was like, call me after 9 p.m. 9 p.m. would be the hit. Yeah, 9 p.m. phone calls. How, that 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 was around till about when? Like, when do you think? Oh man, I don't even. Remember. When did Unlimited became a thing? I think Unlimited started to become a thing maybe like 2008 or 2009. Because I remember, I remember our thing. Call the house one after nine. Call the house one after nine? Yeah. Or before nine? After nine. After nine? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, it was for, that, that was for the house as well. The house, the, the house yeah. phone, like regardless, you would just call the house. I think house phone was our, our go-to. Because I remember the person that would usually call my house phone would be like our small circle. Yep. But mostly be like you or Arlen. Yeah. And I remember always like calling Arlen, and he'd be like right at like nine oh one, you know. Yeah. And we would just, make sure, make sure. Yeah, we would just talk. Yeah, nine oh one just to be safe, but yeah. we would just talk BS. But we had to just make sure like right after nine. Yep, yeah, that's facts. But when did that stop being a thing? I think we stopped doing it because what was the what was our Zoom at that time? Our Zoom. We had oh, AIM. We were talking. We about, used to do Talkbox. Talk box. Talk box was one of them. That was the. That the, was our main one. The darker gray one. But what was the white? The no, that was the white one. Was that talk the, box? the dark gray one was like uh, Uvu. There it is. Uvu. Uvu. OVO, the original. Yeah. OVO. <laughs> but it was like O O V O O. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like literally Uvu. Okay, 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 Uvu. okay. I remember. And at this point, we're just reminiscing. But yeah, yeah. I, I, I remember that. Okay, okay. Yeah, that was that was it. We used to do, or we would just do uh, aim, aim chat, AOL. Yeah, 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 aim. Uh, sometimes Yahoo, um, but no one really did Yahoo. So if you didn't have the uh, aim, you were a lame. Uh, <laughs> You're right. Yeah, but when I got my first phone, I remember like after the first month, uh, my dad said, "All right, looks like we're not having cell phones anymore." I said, what, what happened? And I looked at that motherfucking bill. When I tell you this bill was $966 L. and some change. Oh, my God. How? Because of these motherfucking text messages. But here's the thing. It wasn't. I know I had a good portion of that, yeah. but I don't think it was. Well, you had sisters, too. So I like... didn't think it was. It was just me, Francis, my mom, my dad oh, okay, on this okay, plan. Okay. Just the four of us. I know Francis was the texter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Francis, I, I can't lie. I probably put like two, maybe $300 worth of text messages on the phone. Maybe. Uh, yeah, I did download a couple of ringtones that cost a few, <laughs> that cost a few bucks. Hey, I remember downloading ringtones. No, no, no. And something that the, the, the ring back, the callback ring. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. When you call somebody. I remember downloading them and I'm like, I'll deal with the repercussions later. I just got to have this. <laughs> Bah, bah, download, bah. download, 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 <laughs> bro. It's oh only it's only, it's only a dollar. Yeah, but you downloaded fifty of them. What the hell were you thinking? <laughs> <laughs> For ten seconds of, of a song, not even the whole song. And then you, and then we would go to the cheaper route, and you would like record, record, it? record the. <laughs> yes, bro. Record that. Yeah, this is Brian. <laughs> leave a message <laughs> no bro cj's clearances was fucking top tier because the way that he did it it sounded like the phone was like on his desk he answered mm -hmm. it and and there was like a song like mid midway playing through not even at like the beginning of like the course or anything and it would rustle and he'd go hello <laughs> i'd be like hey yo what's up bro I'm like and it would reply not much bro. what are you doing Man, I'm like, hey, bro. I'm like, and then, like, as you're saying, actually, this is a voicemail. I'm like, you motherfucker! <laughs> the first time I got hit with that, I was hot. And then everyone started doing it. Mm -hmm. You couldn't trust nobody. This is why we don't. This is why we have trust issues now. Trust issues now. This is why we have trust issues now. Trust issues. You can't now. trust anything now. Everything, everything was was an opportunity. Just. And the dogs me. would take advantage. <laughs> I was part of that. I, I had that for a cool minute. And I remember when it was around, like, the teenage years where I was just like, I don't want to do what my mom tells me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. And she would blow up my phone, and there goes my, my voicemail. And she would be, that would be her biggest thing. She wouldn't even be mad at me being out anymore. It would be your voicemail. It would be my voicemail. She would change it. Please change it. 
I and that would be my that'd be my, like a top tier memory for me <laughs> because I was just like she'd forget that I'm out when I'm not supposed to be or past a certain time when I'm not supposed to be and she's just more mad about the the voicemail. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up? I can talk. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Just leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just make sure you leave it in the message. All right. Later. <laughs> And I remember my mom. That is solid. I think I remember I had it till about maybe closer to the senior year because my mom was just like, well, if you're looking for a job, how do you expect to get job interviews if you can leave messages like that? I was that's like, actually facts. I was like, oh. That, that's actually facts. <laughs> and I remember at that time, I think it was like close to the end of my junior year and beginning of my senior year, I wanted to work at uh, Edwards. Oh, the theater. Yeah, yeah, the theater in O Mills. In o Mills. And I was like, yeah, let me let me change that. <laughs> Hi, this is Brian. Hi, this is Brian. If you want to leave a message, I'm not available right now. Please leave a message. Oh, bro. You know, I don't think I ever got your voicemail. I don't think once I've ever gotten your voicemail. If it ever, like, stop ringing, I just hang up. <laughs> <laughs> He'll get my missed call. He'll call me back. <laughs> yeah, no, no, that's exactly. But I would say for me personally, I was definitely the type to be like, like, about. Like, I'm in the middle of something. Text me. Text mm. me. And usually, with text, I can reply. Yeah, 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 And, like, that's that's just the way it's been for a long time. Even even now, if someone were to try to call me, like, I'm normally doing something. So, like, hey, yo, text, text me he's real a, quick. He's a busy man. So, uh, so this is, this is going to be hilarious uh, for a lot of you guys. Um, because I have the reputation of never answering my phone or never texting back. I'm about to out myself on screen right here. If it can focus, Got like 20 unread messages. <laughs> you want to know how many it actually is? It's probably a lot more. I have 18 missed calls, 158 unread texts. <laughs> I'm busy. I'm busy. When I worked in, when I worked in, I mean, sales, granted, like I would say, like seventy of those text messages are family texts, but even that, like the other ones, I'll get back. Yeah, when I worked in sales, I totally get that. Like, the <laughs> whole like, this, this guy's not texting me back. This and that, yeah, yeah. But you gotta realize, people got lives, man. Exactly. I'm people, adult. I'm either I'm a whole man, either, either on the move, you know, or he just making moves. Regardless, he's on the move. Mm-hmm. Right, so when you're doing things like you like you're one of the few people where I text and like if you don't get text back, I well I don't take offense to it regardless, but sure. I know for a fact for you it's just because you got something going on. For other people, they just don't feel like replying at the time. Yada yada, whatever. That's fine. I take no offense to it because I'm at that point. I remember when texting was a thing where it didn't come at a cost. <laughs> it, it, came, it became it was included in the plan, free, unlimited, whatever. Unlimited everything. And I that was my biggest pet peeve. I remember as like. Just like a teenager, close to like maybe early twenties, you just didn't respond back fast enough, and I wanted that. I just needed that because like I have your time and attention. But then, as getting older, I don't want to even text back that quick anymore. I got to do. I got, I got to do. I got things to do. I, maybe I don't want to even talk to you at that point. Yeah. Like, no, no offense, but I just don't want to talk. You know, right? I got in this current moment. I don't want to deal with you. Yeah, I got bigger fish it, to fry. It maybe. is what it is. You know. And, That's mad funny. And it's just like Al's like one of the biggest people that I know that it just is like that. And I don't care because he'll get to it eventually, or I'll just call him like the week after. Yeah. And be like, hey, you got that text? Yeah, let's do this. Yada yada. Yeah. That's fine. Other people, same thing. Because I, I like I know them like that where they're just busy. And that's completely fine. You get back to me? That's cool. But I take no offense when people don't reply because I'd be the same way. Yeah. I'd be like I be getting like important texts during work, and I look at it. I'm like, can I reply right now? No, nah, let me do it after work. And it'd be like a week later, and it'd be like, yeah, you never got back to me. And I'm like, I'm sorry. When <laughs> I'm sorry, Felicia. When were the babies born? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> but here's the thing: if it's important, lead with that. Yeah, lead. Hey, important. Bold caps. All of it, and then message. Right. If I see that important, oh shit, what's going on? But I know by the tone of someone texting me, if I text them regularly, or who is texting me, if it needs an immediate reply. And if I'm in the middle of some shit and it's like, hey, this guy is trying to call me or text me, it's like, oh, fuck, pro- something probably happened. Let me find out what's going on. And it's something that I need to address immediately. 
But if you don't get a reply from me, it's one of two things. It's usually I don't got the time for it. Then there. If it goes on a little bit and it was important, it was me it was me mentally saying, okay. This is what needs to be done. This is what needs to get done. This is what needs to get done. And I never actually texted you. I just thought of the solutions. (laughs) So, sorry, not sorry. It is what it is. Will it change my ways? Never. No. Never. I'm a grown ass man. Man, I'm when I we went to when I did the when we did the BB Wars in October. I'll never forget. We in mid war. I forgot. I don't think it was Dark Tree. It was someone. Someone was on the phone mid war going. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, just send the send the broker package and uh, we'll talk about it. And I was like, broker pack. I was over here yes. like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, 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 I'm out right now. <laughs> They're flanking left. They're flanking left. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'm out right now. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna talk to you after. Okay. Yeah, just send in my email. I'll, I'll respond with you in an hour. And I was just like over here like, okay. That yeah, man, man's about business. <laughs> man standing on business. Right, he's about business. I get it. I get totally get it. Man is standing. That's amazing, actually. Wouldn't be me, though. <laughs> Wouldn't be me. You can get that call later in the afternoon or the Because I already know, with my phone, it's probably going to overheat. <laughs> <laughs> when it was uh, in October, I know it was like a little bit chillier, but it was <clears throat> No, sunny. it was still warm. Yeah, we had a cool warm. breeze, but the sun was sunning. Sunning. It was sunning that Not day. daughtering. Sunning. <laughs> Are you sunning them? Okay, next question. What movie is really <laughs> can't even read. What movie you. is rewatchable a hundred times? Oof. That's a good one because I I rewatch a lot of movies. But one movie actually I haven't watched this one in a few years. But one that I know I've watched at least at least twenty times, Step Brothers. We need to rewatch it. The clown has no penis. <laughs> <laughs> What are you two dreaming about? <laughs> <laughs> Step Brothers is up there. Step Brothers is at least top five for me. At least top five. Ooh. What about you? What's, what's one off the top of your head? One on top of my head. Dang. What would be? Well, I mean, there's, there's a list. But I think one that really is up there, I would say Bad Boys 2. Would be my bad boys too. It's just the right amount of just like of everything kind of comedy action, Mm -hmm. like a little bit drama, dramatization. You know, it's I get that. It's 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 up there. I I will. It'll it'll be my my comfort movie where I'll just have in the background. Yeah, yeah. And I'll still watch it. Act like oh, (laughs) she got kidnapped. (laughs) Took her to Cuba. What are they gonna do? (laughs) Oh no. Um. Oh yeah. But yeah, that's up there. White Chicks is an honorable mention. I'd put that up there. White Chicks. White Chicks is up there. I I think I've probably seen White Chicks maybe like four or five times total. Oh, maybe a little bit more. Mine, mine's in the upper double digits. Really? Yeah. Dang. White Chicks was good, though. It, it still is. Yeah. White Chicks is good. Um, Gotta do Shrek. Oh, my God. Shrek is easy. I'll, I'll, Shrek 2 for me. Yeah, Shrek 2. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> out, of, out of the entire franchise. Shrek 2 is the one I watched the most. Shrek 1, obviously introduced it. Yeah, gotta yeah. give it. But I don't remember Shrek 3 at all. Well, Shrek 3. I remember Shrek 3. With uh, Prince Charming. Oh, no. Was that Shrek 2? Shrek 2 was. Uh, Shrek 3 is when they when, uh, Donkey and, Drag- and the Dragon. But I forgot what the storyline was. Behind no, that. they had kids. Did they? No, they were dating in 2. They were dating in 2. Shrek 2 was uh, where they. Where, where, they he, go where to... he becomes normal. Yeah, when he becomes normal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was that the fairy godmother? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Shrek 3, I remember it was some other dude. I don't remember. I forgot it too, yeah. It was like nice. a younger like boy. Yeah. He, I think 2 Shrek was just from 2 was just up there. Do you remember we saw Shrek Forever in movie theaters? 3D? Did we really? Rumpled, rumpled Stiltskin? Oh my god. You remember that? I kind of vaguely do. They they go back in time. That's tough because we watch a lot of movies together. I'm gonna take one day, one insignificant day from your past. It's like mm. I took away the day you were born. <laughs> it's like <laughs> okay, I, I vaguely remember it, but I wouldn't put past it. That bro, we me, it you, and Clarence used to be in the movie theater. Just lived there. Just, we <laughs> movie lived hopped. There. Yeah, I movie hopped with only a few people. It was you, Clarence, and then uh, my homie Dan. Me and Dan, I think I, the most that we did was three in, in the day. 
I think anything past four, we just be knocked out. Man, I remember. Yeah, there were a few days where we watched like three, like back to back. That was back. pushing. Yeah, it was pushing it. The staff knew they did. A, they did a staff change. Oh, back then they, they didn't did a switch. Yeah, 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 they yeah. did a shift change. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, back then, did. honestly, I think I think it still holds up today. But it's movie theater staff don't usually care. Yeah. As long as you buy a new snack. In between movies, the snacks were twice as much as the ticket. Yeah, too. Jesus, you know what bro. I'm saying? Just go in there if you if you want to get your money's worth. Uh, I can't say that this is illegal. This is not things <laughs> that you can do. But on the low, you go to five below. Go to five below. Load Dollar up. Tree. Actually, you want to know what's crazy? I remember when Iron Man first came out. It was me, Clarence, and Sam, and we. Clarence, like, like, heard about it. Actually, we both heard about it the the day, uh, like, like during class or whatever. And then we saw each other during lunch. We're like, hey, yo, Iron Man is, is playing tonight in movie theaters. You want to go watch it? Like, yeah, sure, why not? What a, sure. We, uh, Sam was told us, he's like, uh, and we asked him. He was like, yeah, yeah, I'll go, I'll go. So Sam at the time was driving. He had his driver's license. He, he drove... Uh, me and himself to the theater. It was mm-hmm. Edwards in, in, in VG. Okay. Uh, we're there. Edwards? Is it Edwards? AMC is uh, VG's. Oh, I'm sorry, AMC. Okay, right. yeah, Edwards yeah, yeah. is on Mel's. Um, yeah, yeah. So uh, AMC in, in Victoria Gardens. Uh, and it's packed. We're like, what the? This is a Friday afternoon. Like, we're like, what the hell? We get in line. We're like, okay, can we get the ticket? Uh, Clarence, he's. I think he was with his mom at the time because he stayed at his mom's during the weekend, mm. and uh, his mom dropped him off. Me and me and Sam were like, you know how they had like the front row seats, the walkway, and then like the, the the other front row seat for the main. Me and Sam were dead center of that second front row. It was a good seat. We were chilling. We had saved a seat for Clarence. I'm like, sorry, no, this for someone. They're like, everybody I was like, yeah. this is this this mother is packed. Like, what the hell? Trailers start playing. Clarence is like, I'm trying to get in. The guy won't let me in. What the hell? So Clarence comes in. Mm-hmm. Like, All right, bad, 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 bad. We watch it. We get out. And we're talking. Like, first Iron Man, dope, right? 2008, I think it came out. Yeah, yeah. Like, super dope. We realized after walking out, it was premiere night. It was premiere night. Fuck. And then I was asking Clarence, I was like, how come you couldn't walk in? He was like, I had to buy a ticket for the 10 o'clock showing. And they wouldn't let me in. But he, was, he told the guy, he was like, dude, like, they're saving my seat. There's a seat open in there. Just let me watch it with them. And apparently the homeboy was cool because he let him in watch yeah. it. So somebody didn't get to sit down in that theater. <laughs> Mad as hell, too. I would have been hot. I'm on the stairs, just right here, <laughs> arms crossed. Yeah. <laughs> I would have been hot. I'm like, no, no one's watching this fucking movie. <laughs> <laughs> like that mess was was crazy. I miss premiere nights. Yeah, we used to do it a lot. We and that I think that's a, a very big core memory when uh about movies is like just watching it. Yeah. Did In we theaters. were we together when we watched uh Deathly Hollows part one? Yes, we we did both. Both? I'll never get part one because people were like lining up. Like you'd walk out and people are like lining up for the next one. Yeah, yeah. And this is like before like you get to reserve your seats. People are like it's first come first serve, right? Yep. Back. I on. never get. We would walk out and just say like the most random. Oh man, Voldemort grew a nose. He grew a nose. <laughs> Harry Potter died. <laughs> I'll never forget when I said Harry Potter. Uh, not Harry Potter. Voldemort grew a nose, and people in the line were like. <gasps> <laughs> I remember that. Oh, bro. But I just, I just remember I would be saying, like, well, what do you think is going to happen to Ron? And they're like, huh? <laughs> just things for people to think about. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. Premiere night was great because it was like, yeah, you get to wait in line. Like, yeah, you have to wait in line. But, I mean, yeah. at that time, we had nothing better to do. It was the experience. Yeah, it was just. The experience of the whole thing. Just just top chopping tier. it up. Yeah. I mean, definitely don't have, like, we don't got the time to wait an hour and a half before a movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, not no more. Yeah, no. Like, if, if we're able to, I mean, no, because see, I would say, like, after, like, 
later on, maybe like 2012, 2013, they started doing an early premiere Thursday night mm-hmm. that we would go to. You remember that? Thursday? We, I remember Thursday night premieres. We because did Man be, of Steel. Yeah. We did, um, fuck. We did quite a few. I can't even remember. I remember we saw Battle LA. I but I don't think we saw Battle LA no, premiere. No, I, I remember we saw uh, Jackie Robinson. Remember that? Yeah. I remember that because at the time his phone had the, had the, when someone would text him, it would flash. That motherfucker was going off. There you go. That's why I remember, <laughs> I, I remember who texted me too. That's why I was like, <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker was going off. I was like, bro. I was like, turn it off. I was like, so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it's funny because he would leave his phone with, with the screen face down on his, on his fucking leg. So lens was upward. So go. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember it looked like it took a picture, like it flashed people. Like, <laughs> I'll, I remember that. And I was like, oh, let me turn this feature off. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was hilarious. Um, I just yeah, saw a comment a for one of the movies that you could watch in time. Uh, any of the Rush Hour movies? Oh, bro, any of the Rush Hour movies at work? I played Rush Hour, <laughs> Rush Hour Two uh-huh. for them because. You know how some of the groups, it changed recently, so it's like journaling. Yeah. So like it's 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 basically their time. Oh, at work, at work. Oh, at this work, at yeah. our work. I thought yeah. I was thinking of like our GI. Work. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> at our work, like it's journaling time. So, uh, like this unit's cool. I'll put on a movie for him. Put on Rush Hour Two. But I tell you, me and Michael standing right outside, of the, we're dying at these. <laughs> we're we are, like <laughs> crying. It's so funny because we're like, man, we got to do work. We're trying to pay attention. But pretty much everyone was in was in the room letting, letting her watch it. I was just like, it's so good. Oh, I want you. Oh, I want you. <laughs> she do feet. Oh. Heaven on earth massage parlor. Heaven on earth massage parlor. <laughs> I fought like 20 triads, 20 of them. You 20. ever heard the triads? <laughs> That's Ricky Tan. That's a Chinaman in a, in a, in a bathroom. That, that's a midget in a bathroom. <laughs> that's a midget in a bathroom. <laughs> Don't let this robe fool you. It's the only color they got left. <laughs> yeah. All the dudes get up. I was like, oh. He really about business. You didn't tell me this man rolls like this? <laughs> yeah. Roll like this. <laughs> Don't kill it. No, no kill it. Oh, that's another movie that's, that's like the series overall. I could, I could watch over and over. Oh, yeah, for sure. Hell even yeah. even three because it three took so long to come out. Yeah, but three was still good. I remember watching it yes. with my uh, my parents. I'll never forget my dad like was dying laughing um, in the translation scene. Oh really? Yeah, when the guy spoke nothing but French, and then the only person that was able to translate was a nun. Oh was yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, yeah, sister, wow. you gotta say it. Say it. This is this is no. <laughs> The greater good. <laughs> tell, mama, tell mama, chop his hairy French balls off. <laughs> Kinda. She's a nun. <laughs> and, then, and then that French guy's. <laughs> oh man! It's oh, I gotta rewatch. Rush, it. I think Rush Hour. I would put. I would have to put it up to uh, up there. That because, that's definitely top three. Because that, and it's that, not three. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely not three. I mean, it's th- three. One, two, and three. Yeah. <laughs> all yeah. of them is all three. Yeah. But I remember. I think. Yeah, it was just. It was me, like, when that came out, like, being one of the very few Asian kids in my elementary made it cool. Like, yeah, Absolutely, ja- like, people bro. called me Jackie Chan. Like, I was just like, Absolutely. okay, whatever. And then, like, a little bit middle school, like, it was just cool because I could kind of relate, you know, yep. somewhat. But, yeah, Rush Hour, up there. I would put it up there. Yeah, that's solid. One movie for me, and you know this about me, I really like the zombie genre. Yep. Really like the genre, 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 genre. <laughs> can I speak? Apparently not. Um, it's not zombie land. Um, it's actually a remake of an older movie, Dawn of the Dead. So it's Ooh, the same story, yep, 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 but yep, yep. 2004 version, yep. more modern. That movie between 2009, maybe 2008 mm-hmm. to 2012. I probably watched it. There was a good period of time within that period where I watched it once a day. I just watched it once a day. And it's one of those movies you put on, just mind your business, do yep. whatever. Yep. 
do whatever, you know, get back to it, go whatever. Actually, I had a rotation. It was Step Brothers, uh, Dawn of the Dead. It was Kevin Hart's stand up. It wasn't. Oh, it, man. it wasn't seriously funny. It was the one before that, the one where he wore the leather jacket, the one that like like blew him up. Yeah. Uh, and then um, for some reason, uh, uh, Battle L.A. was on that list too. Well, uh, there's a lot of good like um, yeah like I think I wouldn't say my re- oh yeah my rewatch I'd watch like a lot of like like war war movies a lot too. yeah see I remember watching Battle L.A. in theaters. And I think was it me, you, and Clarence? I think it was just me and you. Battle L.A. Yes. Okay. Before we get into this, when did you develop your claustrophobia? Childhood. My brother-in-law Tito. You, your voice cracked when you said childhood. I felt bad. You said childhood. No, let me tell you something. Uh, I don't want to divulge too much. My brother-in-law. I love all my family. Number one, but my brother-in-law Tito. He used to do this thing. Uh, Tito. I see no. No, got, now here's the thing you got to remember that all my brother in laws have been around since like I was born pretty much because yeah, yeah, yeah. your like, sisters are like older, yeah. They're I don't want to say older like that. No, 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 if they no, see no, that. What I mean is, just, like, <laughs> don't see that. Bro, like you're like you're pretty young, no, yeah. Compared compared, to older sisters. I don't know how to say this without offending anyone. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're, they're older than me, so yeah, they yeah, were yeah. around like pretty much since I was born, and um. Uh, you know, you know, they, they, they were my older brothers. They would, they would take me out to do stuff like horse around with me, wrestle with me and stuff. But he would do this one thing where he would pin me down, both my arms, like pin me down and just like jab at my stomach and it would just tickle. Right. (laughs) And I don't want to say what it was called, but, um, just, 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 just cut it out. But what was it called? Oh! <laughs> Just beep it out. Yeah. But oh my god! <laughs> I'm gonna have to bleep it out. But yeah, like basically, he like sit on my legs, pinned me down, and just and like I couldn't escape. I couldn't escape. And that it was it was less of like the tickling. It was More just of like that. that. Let me go. I'm feeling stuck. I've been in like that position, not like literally that position, but I've been in that position where you're like you're just stuck, helpless, and just getting like tickled in touch. But, bro, I hate it. My God, I hate it. Uh, that all all my brother in laws used to do something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, like, of that. course, yeah, yeah. But that's the one that was the traumatizing the most because he get me. Like we'd be playing around, and then he'd like just do it. I'm like, stop it. Like, yeah. the only reason I bring that up is because I didn't learn of your claustrophobia until Battle L.A. Really? Yeah, because we we had so many movie experiences beforehand. Oh, wh- was I freaking out in the theater? You were not, not in those movies, and I don't know, like I don't know what you were doing beforehand, but like I just remember when I said, "Let's go watch Battle L.A.," and I remember choosing the ticket. You specifically asked for the side seats, like more oh, closer, next to, to, the closer stair. to the row. Yeah, because you said you were you're claustrophobic, and I was just like, "Oh, okay, no problem, handle." Like that's no problem, and I just remember thinking to myself like. Huh. You're, Cause I remember you said that you're claustrophobic and I was just like, I wonder if this is newly developed. <laughs> well, you want to know what's crazy? The claustrophobia would lead to anxiety. It would, it would lead to an anxiety. Yeah, yeah. Attack. And for a good period of time, I had it under control. Like, yeah. like not on like medicine or anything. Yeah, but yeah. I was cool because a lot of the movies that we watched prior to that, we would be middle dead center. Yeah. I like, remember we would middle, always we, try to get dead like center. Primes, like primo seats. Well, this is like, you can't even like, you can't even reserve your seats. Like yeah. you would have to be there wherever your spot in line is, as you better hope that that middle seat in one of those rows. Yeah. 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 Is enough for you and your party. Yeah, bro. It was, it was, yeah. I think 2010, like my anxiety just started like getting really worse and start. And like, I would say that's around the time where it really started to, dictate the decisions that i made in life whether i would go hang out with people or not or participate in events and then like if i didn't have like freedom of leaving i'm yeah. like no 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 no, i can't do that that's, that's why like even now it's like i only let people that i know will listen to me uh and if i like if i need to like pull over for some other reason there are only a handful of people that i trust to let drive because I know if I say pull over now they will, yeah. and that's you, 
and Selena. <laughs> There's nobody else in my life. There's nobody else in my life that I trust to do that. Interesting. Because <laughs> I know. Because you know the level of my anxiety. Selena knows the yeah. level of my anxiety. Damn sure I know the level of my anxiety. If I am in the middle of an anxiety attack and I need to leave. Yeah. Like, I just need to walk out. Just need to get some air. Pull, pull the fuck over. I don't care if we're on the freeway, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and I, I do that for everybody that rides with me. Be like, yeah. hey, if you get anxiety, if you need to pull over, if we need to turn the air on, if we need to adjust something, let me know. I'll more than accommodate that. I'll make it as comfortable as possible yeah. for you so you have a good experience. Because if we're all having fun and trying to go do, like, we're all on the way to, like, Universal Studios or some shit, and you get an anxiety attack on the way, that anxiety attack is going to lead to... The rest of your day being shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I hate that. Jesus. So, yeah. I mean, the reason I let you drive, like, now is because you like to drive. <laughs> yeah. So, but also, at the same time, like, you know, if, if if it comes down to it, I'll get us there when we need to be, if that yeah. was the case. But, yeah, most definitely. But, okay, I was asking about that because I was just like, I, I'll always remember Battle L.A. linked to... You my anxiety? You, <laughs> to my, to my yeah, linked to you having claustro- claustrophobia. And I was just like, oh. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> no, bro. It's funny because I remember when we saw the Deathly Hollows. It was, I think it was before Battle LA. Mm-hmm. No, it might have been after. Battle LA happened after, right? Let me find out. I think Battle LA came out 2012. No, no way. Maybe 2011. Okay, close enough. Two, yeah, 2011. Okay. 2011. But Deathly Hollows came out before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the part one. I could be mistaken, but I remember I, it was me, you, Dan, um, Arlen, and... Dan was there? I think so. I, I remember for sure me, you, and Arlen. Yeah, I remember Arlen was there. I remember Zarina being there. Was, was Dan not there? I don't think... I could be wrong. I just remember it was a gang of us. And Yeah, Deathly Hollows 20. And he got, he got seats toward the center, like the middle of the row, where we normally would get it. But I remember, like, I sat at the very end, uh-huh. and, like, majority of the movie, I was like... Exit right there. Exit right there. Enjoy the movie. The exit right there. Enjoy the movie. You can go to the bathroom if you need to. You, you can leave if you need to. Like the whole time, I was just like, fucking Christ. Jeez. Yeah, it was, it was bad, dude. There was even... Actually, there was even a part where there was a day I was waiting on Selena to get out of class and for you to get done with work. 2013, I think. Oh, so Sweet Tease? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I was waiting for you guys to get out. Uh, oh, yeah, so um, we can meet up with uh, Francis and Jason when they were staying at that hotel so we can go swimming. Oh, my God. I had went to watch um, I went to watch Divergent by myself in the in, theater. Funny fact, I just, I just watched Divergent for the first time like a couple months ago. Really? Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, that's all right. Wait, anyways, continue. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mind you, this is like an 11 o'clock, 10 o'clock, like a.m. showing. Yeah, yeah. It's early. Shout out to there's maybe Shout like, out to Matinee. Yeah. But there's maybe like four or five people in the theater. I sat at the very top. You know, like how the last row or the last two rows, like you, it, this is at Edwards, you go up the stairs and it seats. Yeah. Like you can walk around to the very last row or you can sit right there and the exits are in like. It, it's it, up there. You're literally just sitting and the stairs are right in front of you. I sat in that seat away from everybody else. The moment the, the 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 theater got dark, started playing, started playing um, trailers. The trailers, I got anxiety. Oh shit! I was like, "There's no one here, though. There's no one here. The exit's right there." Like I started getting anxiety. I'm like, "Fuck!" I'm like, and we would take us like twelve dollars at the time. I'm like, "Man, I just, I'm not. I'm not trying to waste this twelve dollars." Yeah. Like I know I can leave, but now I feel stuck. Because I paid twelve dollars to watch the entire movie. Just paid twelve dollars to have an anxiety attack. Exactly. Basically. And you want know to funny? The only, there's only one person that I knew that watched the movie it was Corvell. It was Corvell. So I texted Corvell while watching the movie. I was like, "Hey, Corvell, what was that movie Divergent about?" I need details. <laughs> I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get him to give me the entire movie, yeah, like yeah. scene by scene. <laughs> so just in case I need to leave, I can read it. <laughs> <laughs> Corvell, if you watch this, that's that's why. If you remember that, <coughs> but um, yeah, like it sucks, man. But you know, now I'm 
I've been taking care of it for a few years. It's been pretty well. Mm. Um, but yeah, anxiety sucks. It's dictated. Do you remember a good portion of my life? Do you remember the the theater shooting in Aurora, Colorado? Uh, on the the dark on the dark night, right? So me and Dan, I think I told you this before. I don't know this story. <laughs> Whenever it me starts and, with me and Dan, but you're like I will, I'll never forget when that happened. That was like one of the like, and people were just afraid to go to the movie theaters. And I remember we watched The Dark Knight. Me and Dan watched The Dark Knight, and I don't want to say it was full, but it was like full enough where there's people around us. Yeah, it was The Dark Knight Rises, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Whenever, whatever Joseph Gordon Levitt was. Yeah, 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 that was that was the the Dark Knight Rises because yeah. I remember it's funny. Yeah. Quick side note, uh, I remember I went with my nephew Justin mm-hmm. to watch The Dark Knight in theaters. I had no idea what the hell it was about. Oh, The Dark Knight. I was like, I was like, what movie is this? I was like, all right, I guess I'll I'll find out. We go to watch it. Realize it's a Batman movie. I was like, oh, <laughs> Bruce <laughs> Wayne. <laughs> this is before I got into like um like the universes, like the Marvel DC universes, like heavy. Yeah. So back then, I didn't know that was his his other like nickname. So. Yeah. Uh, anyways, continue. You guys, uh, before, you know. Uh, uh, yeah, so we massacre. watched it, right? And Dark Knight Rises, really good movie. Absolutely. Uh, that's another rewatchable movie. Yeah, that is, actually. Um, and this was, like, ca- close towards the end. Close towards the end. And you know the biggest thing about watching a movie is your bladder. Like, you don't want to miss <sighs> even a minute. But you have to go piss. Mm-hmm. So Dan thugs it out until like maybe the last like two, three minutes of the last movie. This was when uh, Joseph and I'm, it's already way past it. Everyone's already watched it. But this is when yeah. Joseph Gordon. Hey, if this is a spoiler for yeah. you, you need <laughs> step your game up. You need help. Step your game up. Don't be like 2011. Don't bro. be like, oh, I was about to watch it. And like, no, 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 no. But anyways, this is when Joseph Gordon Levitt's character. Um, gets like I forgot what he does, but he picks up his stuff and like, oh well, uh, you should use your middle name more, Robin or whatever, right? Yeah. It was around that scene, and Dan's like, I can't hold it anymore, and he leaves mm-hmm. to go pee because he just couldn't hold it. Yeah, this man doesn't even go through the egg like through the stairs to go rest. He leaves through the exit doors in front of the screen. Exit, exit. The exit, the emergency exit, exit. Which how the guy got in the last time for Aurora? I think like it was just a loud wee, boy. Wee, wee, wee. No, no, no. It didn't even do that. It didn't it just, alarm. No, no alarm. It because it's an exit. It's not. It's a, just a loud clink. Yeah, he kicks that door open because he had to pee. So he pees in that hallway, <laughs> but there's no way to get back in. Obviously, I'm not gonna open the door for him after yeah. the scene that he just pulled. Yeah, because. All you do is just, all you see. And he ran. All you see is this, this guy running down the stairs. Nothing up. He's like, oh, he needs to go to the restroom. He's past the stairs. Like, you know, this is, he, yeah, he, he, he ran stairs past are the on the right. Exit. Yeah, stairs are on the right. So you would have to, like, go down, make a right, make another right to the stairs. Passes that right turn to go to the stairs. Goes more, and like, oh, he's going to the exit. Kicks that mug open. Ta-ta! And I just hear the theater go, <gasps> And I'm in this seat watching the movie, and I did this. I go. <laughs> I didn't even enjoy the movie after that. I wanted to get out there, it but I had the to fuck it out. Movie. I had to fuck it out. It was the end of the movie. I had to fuck it out and before until like the uh, roll end, uh, the, the the credit Chris scenes, R- roll credit scenes, and then I could leave. I didn't want to. I wasn't gonna look suspicious if I left the same time he did. If you left the same time he did, I was like, I gotta fuck it out. Yeah, no, you had to. You had to. But I was, I, I was embarrassed just because I was just like, you fucking idiot. Someone could have just left and said, oh, someone like, you know, yeah. went to the exercise. He's with him, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> How many people? Because you know the people around you. Oh, for sure. Know that you were with him. Yeah. I would have been like, I don't. I know. remember the movie ended. I left. And I met Dan at the water fountain in front of the Edwards. <laughs> he goes, so what I miss? And I was like, bro, you know what you just did right now? <laughs> it's fucked up. It's fucked up. It's fucked up. It's fucked up. But, but man, that was hilarious. 
Oh my god! Talking about anxiety in the movie theater is watching Bro. watching after something like that happens is wild. Bro, <laughs> one last story because this this is going on too much. I remember when I Am Legend was in theaters. Oh my god! Yeah, this was like two thousand six, two thousand seven. What you uh, doing out here, Fred? Yeah, what you doing? What you doing? What you doing out here, Fred? I remember I went to see it by myself. And at that time, I was like, I didn't have like my claustrophobia daunting over me like that. I went to see it by myself. I sat in the seat by myself. I was cool. I was chilling. There was this one girl that got separated from her like core group of friends. So she's sitting there constantly like looking over the seat, looking at her friends, like t- toward the beginning of the movie, right? And I was like, <laughs> I was like, all right, whatever. <laughs> like, mind my business. I'm like, I'm I would be, I'm sorry, I would be irritated. Seeing ahead, just yeah, and you know. Can how, I help you? You you know the the seats are taller than yeah. the person. Yep. So she had to like, <laughs> yeah, she had to do oh one of them. God. And she 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 like after a few minutes accepted that she wasn't gonna be able to sit next to her friend, so she just sat there, right, watching the movie. First intense thing, like one thing about I Am Legend that's really good is like they didn't really include music. For for dramatic effect, they let the dramatic effect happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was more shocking, right? So, the first the first thing happens, jump scare. She screams loud as shit. Ah! And I was like, I was like, God damn! Like made me jump. I was like, Oh shit! So, I was like, All right, whatever. Next thing happens, she screams. I'm like, This this girl. So I I immediately just like. And I can still hear the movie. It's loud as hell. Yeah. I just didn't want her fucking, like, ear-curdling, like, blood-curdling scream right next to me. Because she was fucking right there. So I'm just sitting there, minding my own business doing this. She looks over at me. Oh, my God, are you scared? She had the audacity. If you don't leave me alone, woman. <laughs> she had the audacity. No, but are you? <laughs> and I was like, no, it's just really loud. <laughs> I was so hot. I was so hot, bro. <laughs> the 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 fact that she had the audacity to ask me that. Number one, number two, it's the whole thing. The fact she thought I was scared. The fact that she she had to ask me if I was scared. It was just a combination. The the, the fact that she had to ask that really loud during a dead quiet scene. Fucking hot, bro. I was so mad. I was like, no, it's just really loud. <laughs> I was so mad. And then she shut up. She did shut up. She was like, oh. I, said, I still did this, though. I was like, yeah. Just in case. Yeah. I mean, she did scream a few more times. I mean, jump scares get me. Like, it's supposed to. Like, yeah, they yeah. set up the whole thing, so it's like... That's the name, jump scare. Yeah, yeah, so it's like, instant. It's a shock. And at that time, like, I wasn't as accustomed to it as I am now. Yeah. So at that time, like, I I really just wasn't paying attention like that to see it coming. So, like, every, like it did have good jump scares. There were, there were scenes where, like... They're not even zombies. I think they were technically classified as like some type of like vampire or something, but or one of the creatures would like jump out or something. So like, okay, cool. Like, but yeah, whoever you are, lady, how dare you? How how dare you? Mind you, it, again, it's like two thousand six, two thousand seven. I think I was like fifteen, fourteen. Maybe I don't even know the age I was at, but I was so irritated by your scream. And hopefully that's something that you learned to to grow past. Or here's a thought: just don't watch scary movies ever again. And, and uh, when you're out with your friends, don't lose them. All right. <laughs> all right, guys. This podcast has gone on long enough. What are some movies that are truly rewatchable for you? Let us know in the comments below. Uh, we should do. Uh, a top 10 movie list for ourselves. In another podcast. Top 10. Top 10. I'm giving us some buffer space. That's tough. I'm giving us some buffer space, okay? Okay. 
All right, but is what it is. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure make sure you subscribe for more content uh, and give us a thumbs up and leave us a comment. Again, what movies do you find that you think are truly rewatchable? Let us know in the comments below. My name is Cisco. My name's Ratu. And I will see you guys later. Peace and out. I'll see you at your mom's house. Uh, Come find me. <laughs> I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming.